you are not editing as fast and as efficient as you could. And this is costing you hours of your life, man. While you could be out there doing anything, paragliding, jet skiing, enjoying your life. Oh man, look at that. You run away in front of a computer screen, throwing away your youth, all because you don't know the editing tricks that I will be showing you in this video. Hey, I'm editing to you down here, and you might be like, oh, why should I listen to this guy? Let me give you some good reasons. Now, the videos that I have done have gotten over 110 million views, and by video editing and earning money from it, I was able to move myself to an island in Thailand. I mean, bro, look, look at this. Like, I have palm trees outside my house, and I have my own motorbike, and I've moved to a foreign country by the age of 23. Um, you know, I think those are some good reasons, so back to the video. At the end of this video, you'll know all the best tips and tricks to edit 69 times faster, and finally, gain your youth back. Now that's right, it's 69 times faster, because it's my channel, and I make the rules here. Alright, so let's get the most obvious one out of the way and that is shortcuts why would you ever use these buttons when you can and now i'm just gonna transition into a really lame song three right. two one Q is cut left, W is cut right, C is cut, D is cut, selection, A does the selected head, and control L does link on lane. I is in and O is out, uses to select the part of a clip, M is marked, space to pause or play the video, control Z is undo, control shift C does the redo, 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 and that's it. Okay, bye. Yeah, I think that song was very late. <laughs> this next tip is to have a gaming mouse. I do have a Logitech G502, and this has been immensely helpful with my editing. For example, I'll bound my selection key to this button here, uh, cut is here, delete is here, and I can just really edit the video without using my keyboard much. I just click the shortcuts on my mouse and it's been really helpful. So, you know, get a gaming mouse. All right, next one. Are you tired of selecting and dragging everything one by one? All you have to do is select an empty spot, hit delete, and boom! With ripple delete, you just select an empty spot, hit delete, and instead of just dragging the videos, you'll just drag all the videos to the left. Using AI tools to edit your shorts. Now, AI tools kind of suck, but submagic.io is really great for YouTube shorts for captioning, and that's what I've been using with my clients. I do have a link in the description that gives you 10% discount and also a video on it, so I'm not gonna dwell on too much, but check it out if you wanna edit shorts in like three minutes, it's really useful tool. Moving on to the next one. Now, the next one is one of my favorites because it's literally how I edit all my my videos and it's something that gives my videos my own personal style and that is presets for example you want your character to slide up well just drag it on there and boom it will slide up that easy now if you want to animate it by yourself and it just takes you a really long time probably like a minute two minutes but with a preset Boom, you drag it on there, easy as that. Well, what if I wanted to animate my captions to pop up one by one? You just drag your preset on there and boom. Now it looks really fancy and people think you're a good editor. Well, all you did was just drag the preset. Camera shake, boom, bam, drop shadow, boom. Editing animation is so simple with presets. I've been doing all this with the chat editor presets with over 100 presets with effects such as this one, this one, and then this one. Not only am I editing faster, mm. I am also editing better. So thanks chat editor presets for sponsoring this video. If you wanna grab yours, head over to chateditor.com, use code chat, 20% off, and uh, <laughs> let's move on to the next one. All these tips are great, right? But they won't mean anything if you're just clicking away on YouTube videos, scrolling Instagram, and are just super distracted to even edit. And I get it, you're looking for a clip on YouTube and you just get distracted by some bullshit video, probably like Putin cat or something like that. And then, you know, the thumbnail looks so shiny so you get click it and then you've just lost five minutes of your time to absolutely nothing. So, you need to install these YouTube blockers in your browser. I will put the links in the description of this video for these YouTube blockers. They've been really great. It really helps me just go on YouTube, search for what I'm looking for, get the video, and then get the fuck out and continue with my editing process. So I do recommend you to install these YouTube blockers to keep your sanity and mind focused on the goal, which is editing to the best of your capability, which I know you can. You're great. You're a shining star. You make me so proud. Go on, go on, edit your legendary video. Video, my son.
daughter, whatever you are. Us editors, we really like to congregate on Discord, such as my Discord server, the link in the description. We get distracted by messages coming in. You need to focus when you are editing, man. So put your Discord in do not disturb mode and do it for your phone as well. Put it either in airplane mode or just turn that bitch off. Fuck off technology, I'm editing, don't disturb me. It takes us 15 minutes to get into a flow state and totally focus into the task that we are doing. And every time you check a message on Discord, you reset the timer for you to get into the zone and focus. So please, with the YouTube blockers and you know turning off Discord, just make your one task for the time being, just focusing on your editing. Also a bonus tip that I could give you is to use a kitchen timer, just set it for like an hour, use a downloading software to quickly download YouTube videos or stock footage. Now I use internet download manager, but you can use any free alternate YouTube downloader such as this one. I think I've never used one, but just use a free YouTube downloader or whatever to just copy paste the video link and then the software will automatically download it for you rather than going on y 2 main dot is or some probably spy website with like tons of ads with really hot women that are interested in you on them next up is a really important one as well and that is sound effects the way you elevate the video make it attention grabbing and all that good stuff is going to be with sound effects now the normal the average editor he might just you know go online search on YouTube for sound effects all the time he needs one and that is going to cost him so much time now the chat editor he already has has the sound effects in a neat folder ready for him to use neatly designed and folder so that he can search and just drag and drop them where he needs them I do have a link in the description for my sound pack but I feel like I've pushed so many stuff in links in description so far so I'm not gonna say that I don't want to know you too much but having a sound effect pack will really help you out has this ever happened to you where you edit a 4k or a high quality video and it's so fucking laggy and like fuck me it's so fucking slow you, you get you get a bit angry I feel your pain so what Adobe did was invent proxies and with proxies you can edit these high quality videos really fast and smoothly now what a proxy does is let's say you have a 4k video it will downscale it to a 144p or something like that video but ready for the hood ready for the hood is it ready for the hood sorry is it ready for the hood it's ready for what the hood you know hood so when you play the video with a proxy, it will play a lower resolution version of it so that your computer does not lag. It's like some computer magic. So to do that, right click on your footage and it should say proxy there. Click on create proxy and hit OK. Now the media encoder is going to open up and just hit the play button and it will render it. Now once it's rendered, to check that it is there, click on proxy again and choose attach proxies and choose the files that you've exported. To toggle the proxy on, just use the proxy button right here. You may not have a proxy button so click the plus button to open up the button editor and drag that in and if you press it proxies will be turned on from now and lastly once you're done with a video and you want to export it faster just use the media encoder that's it for me for today thanks for watching so much if you're just still confused about Premiere Pro how to use it how to edit I have made a free course that's right free you don't have to pay me anything on Premiere Pro it's called Premiere Noob to Pro link in description you know if you want to take my course, join my Discord, all that stuff. And that's pretty much it. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Bye! Bye-bye!